Using Google Earth, I will zoom in to my neighborhood. Using Street View, we can look at the neighborhood at the time Google scanned, which was last February, just a few weeks ago. This is my house, modest as it is. The neighbors have allowed their heads to grow up almost 10 feet. It's not supposed to be any higher than the fence. This is what it looks like at night. It's a virtual barrier to sight. Standing in my driveway, I can't see beyond it, making it somewhat dangerous for me to venture out without being able to see the street. Never mind the blinding street light, illuminating the hedge from behind, making it impossible to see past the hedge. Continuing south on Kent Avenue. Notice the hedge on the left. It's 20 feet high. Looking at Kent Avenue from the south and Morningside, you notice the stop sign has been over. And around those pine trees in the middle are hedges that are 20 feet high. I can't see past those hedges from my front yard. I understand the idea of dead end, but isn't that a little politically incorrect? Those 20-foot hedges completely hide my front yard and my porch where I cannot see past them. A definite property standards violation. Going north past my house, we can turn around and look back at my house from the north side and notice again my porch and my front yard are blocked by those hedges. These images were taken in February. Now that it's spring, there's much more foliage on the plants, blocking the view. This is looking from my porch southward. You notice that the hedge is completely blocking the view of the street. Never mind the five cars in the front yard of my neighbor's house. And the blinding lights from the street lights and my neighbor's arc lamp shining directly into my face. This is the view of the signs from the edge of my driveway. Notice the morning side street sign is leaning over. No matter how many times I try to straighten it, the local hooligans push it over again. <laughs> 